have a home repair project you've been avoiding because you really don't want to hire somebody to help you, well, we've got just what you need. And he's big and strapping. And hot. He's Eric Stromer. And I don't know why he's not on TV, but he's on the radio. Does that look like a face for radio? Right. No. I the know, host right? of the radio show, Home Wizards, Wizards, and he's here to help you around the house. Hi, I don't Hi, think anybody's mind you helping them around I'm, the house. I'm available for everybody that needs help. And you make a darn good meatloaf, right? You understand. know it. Me and you are going to make it. <laughs> okay, good. That's our next segment. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyway. okay. All right. Talk to us about talk to us about this. If you get a hole okay, in your so, screen, yeah, exactly. It so happens all the time. It happens yeah. all the time. So this is the after of what it would look like a patch. There's a hole on the back of it, obviously. So say that somebody comes by and just puts a hole in their screen, or the kids poke their hand through just like okay. that, right? Yep. Instead of re replacing the whole screen, which is probably about 50, 60, 70 bucks, depending on who okay. does it. And where you, you live. Yeah, and where yeah. you live and what zip code you are in. Why not just repair it yourself? And they sell these little patches here that are pre-folded at angles, right? And all you have to do is kind of peel off some of the the uh, the the grain going and it both ways. Look like it's hard to do that. But not at all. And then you just kind of plug it into the screen itself. But, but and the then point is to find one that matches it's your. Ra ring. Yeah, and so they sell them in all different colors. This is a darker color, well, but it didn't really show up on camera. You wouldn't even yeah, see it. Yeah, then one matches, right? Because I'm crazy. Nope. Yeah. No, they nope. Don't, no. We don't have one that okay, matches. Get out of here. It's that not about the color palette. It's about repairing the hole. No. It is for her. Okay, go ahead. I don't want to meet All right, here we go. Next, Mike. This is a question. Hold on, Paul. Let us a question for you. You don't even know what it is yet. Yeah. My friend is redecorating and offered yeah. me her beautiful dark leather den furniture. One of the sofas had scratches from her dogs. How do I repair or disguise the scratches? Right there. See, look at oh, them, she right? put them on there and she's blaming she's her on the dog. She's scratching her own couch. Yeah. Right. So anyway, here's what happens. With leather, if you scratch it, obviously you see the, yeah. the colored discoloration. out. But if dogs get to it and it's frayed a bit, you can actually take a hair trimmer just like that. Oh, really? And shave off the Stop excess. Stop it. Because that's what you read when you see a scratch piece okay. of leather. It's that fraying that occurs, right? All right? And then after you shave that off a couple of times, this product here is great. What there's is a, that? there's different manufacturers, but Meguiar's makes one too. You just spray it on the scratch itself after you've gone and shaved off the excess. Uh -huh. Rub it in just like that. Let it soak in for a couple of minutes. We don't have time on camera now. So we're going to have to take your word, word for it? it? No, I'm going to wipe it off, and you're going to see. It looks way better. It is it? way better. Right? So how long should you leave it on there, Eric probably about, Stromer, probably big strapping guy? About 15 minutes. Okay. 15? Yeah. All right. That's look it. Good. it looks I way, way better. The color unifies. It looks much yeah. better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And you could use other stuff, too, if you don't have you, the Yeah, you stuff. have olive oil. You have baby oil. All oils work, work. essentially. Okay. But this one I love because it just seems to work the best. All right. Okay. Here's an yep. email from, from Maureen. She says, yeah. what would I use to fill cement cracks inside in a sidewalk you where there's that word. Do me a favor. Stir that up while, up. We're, okay. while we're talking here. Just a little bit. Just stir it up. Just like cake batter. So what you would use is cement. This is a cement patch. You mix it with water. Okay. And if you have a crack in the front of the house in the concrete slab and it's not structural, you can repair these little okay. hairline cracks yeah, you easily. You better check to see if it's structural yeah, first. Right. So all you have to do is go ahead and wet the cement a little uh -huh. bit with a, with a hydro sponge, just like that, because it'll, it'll make the cement bond much better, more effectively. Right. Go ahead and put it right on that crack, just like that. Uh -huh. This is kind of fun, actually. Just do I it like in an area. She loves this I stuff. love see? this stuff. You've clearly make, made She's cake so batter. That's what my, my dermatologist does for my <laughs> face, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I it. I like it. It's, it's perfect. You and get then, great and then, results. Yeah. And then you just go ahead and take it off like that, right? <laughs> you know, you do, I like that. Yeah, you take that off and use yes, that metal and use edge. Yes, some more metal edge. Right? Yes, and then so go back, go, you take that sponge, wipe off the excess. Look at Hody. I need to wipe off the just, right across a, it? just across it, just Look like that. that. Let oh it dry. Gosh, gone. Awesome. Crack be gone. Crack uh -huh. be gone. Nice right? job. <laughs>